Hello everyone. Today we will try to install uh, a Becker Student Edition in our uh, computer and um, download the files and then install them and see if it works. Right. So to download the Student Edition, what I will do is I will search for download a Becker Student Edition 2022 as I've already searched it. So therefore it is already present, but maybe you can search for this and it will show you this result a Becker's Learning Edition 3D Experience EDU. I will click on this and it will bring us to this page. Now on this page you will see this button download for free but before that I, you can also go down and see the other possibilities. You will see the Becker's installation instructions, also Becker's tutorials. These are the tools that we will explore later but for now just we will come back and we will click on download for free. And if I click this, it comes to this page where uh, I have to uh, log into my account. So I will log into my account that I've already created. But if you haven't, you can create your own account using um, this button here. Um, if you will click this, you will, uh, you will be brought to this page where you will have to fill in all this information. And in the end, you will receive an email, which once you will... Um, uh, confirm that this is your email address your account will be created and then you will come back to this page to log in so as i already have my account i will just click login and yeah here we are so it starts with this welcome sticker i will just close it and here you will see all the learning edition downloads now 3ds is a big company so it, they have many other tools apart from Abacus, but we are just interested in Abacus and therefore we will come here. Now you will see this, that Abacus Learning Edition is available for Windows platform only and supports structural models up to 1000 nodes. So you have a limit on the number of elements you can define in your model and um, yeah, nothing else. And what we will do is we will, uh, it says that please refer to the installation guide for system requirements, to details on this instructions and known issues. If you will click on this, you will be brought to this um, learning edition installation guide and this is basically a PDF file but you have to click on it again to open it it will load and uh, yeah then you will be able to scroll down and see what is written in here so product features and limitations before you begin these are your system requirements that need to be fulfilled and here you will see that we need to install Java JDK 11.0.8 so this is something that it is important and, and we should look into uh, installing it before we actually um, um, start the setup. But in any case, that is something that we will need to do, um, that we will do in any case later. And then you can follow these step-by-step -step instructions by step three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. It, they are all shown with images on what will happen and how it will um, go on and in the end how will Abacus be um, installed and then in the end they have also shown how to uh, install the Abacus. Um, so there they say that execute the newly installed Abacus Learning Edition from the icons in the app screen under section Dassault System Similia Abacus Learning Edition 2022 and that is something that we will do in the end now right um, so they have also given some details about post instruction uh, post installation troubleshooting and that is something that is useful um, documentation um, that might come in handy now if you do not want to follow these instructions you can just follow my video step by step uh, where we will um, now download and install it now I, I have stroke scrolled down to the download section of this page and here you will see that Abacus Learning Edition download is possible from this. So Abacus 2022, 2021 and installation guide. This is the same installation guide that we were looking at right now and I will click on this. If I will click on this, um, a file will start downloading here. So you will see that it is a 3.3 GB very large file on my internet with this speed it is taking almost 11 minutes 12 minutes to download as I already have this file I will cancel this download and I will just go to my uh, folder where I have downloaded this file so once you will download this file it is available here and this is a zip file so you will have to um, extract the contents of this file which are this folder 
which I have just extracted in the same uh, folder that my um, that my uh, zip file is. And then once you will open this folder, you will open this link. Uh, um, to, you will click on one. You will see all these details here in this folder. Now, what I want to do is I want to double click on the setup and the setup will start. So it will ask me, please choose the Abacus parent installation directory. I want to choose CC Melia. I will click next. Um, and then it will uh, ask me that where is the Java installed? Now in my system, Java is already installed, but in your system, if Java is not installed, you can follow the instructions here. So it shows you to download and install GR11, go to this link. So I will click on this link. You have to be connected to the internet. And on this link, it will show you the latest 11.0.18 version of Java. But we are not interested in 11.0.18. We are interested in 11.0.8, right? So what we do is we, go, we click on this Java archive. We click on this. And here we have all the previous versions of Java SE. So we click here Java SE 11 and 18 was the latest one. So the archives, the previous version start from 11.0.7. And there you will go down to 11.0.8. It is here. And in this section, you will go to Windows X64 installer and you will click on this link. Now, it will pop up. I have reviewed and accepted and I will click on download. So here again, you need an account. So you can create your account and then sign into your account. And once you will sign in, then a file will start downloading. Um, if you already have an account, then you can just log into your account and the file will start loading. And the file will look something like this. So it will be a 155 MB file that will look something like this. And you can double click it and install it with just a few next next clicks by using default settings and Java will be installed in your system. Now, once you install that, you will have to click on the back button and then the next button again to come to this window so that it can automatically pick up your uh, default Java installation directory and then you will click next and abacus will yeah should start to install now it asks for choose a default abacus working directory i am choosing this directory and i click next the installation program has enough information to start i click next and it says that executing application now it will start to install um, it says be patient it will take a few minutes to complete on my system it takes around um, five to ten minutes to complete so yeah once once it's done then we will see us again okay so here you will see that all the files are um, copied and copied to the system and now it will run some verifications to check if everything is correctly installed and it is saying it will take a few minutes to complete and that's what we are waiting for and it wants to run all the verifications to um, check and make sure that all the files are correctly copied and um, the software is running as intended. So once it's done, it will show us a message window that everything is running fine. And that is where Abacus is actually fully installed on the system. Yeah, so you see. Product installation verification is complete. Results can be found at this. The Abacus command for this release is this one. The Abacus commands directory can be found at ccmilia commands. Click continue to complete. I will click OK. 
and then yeah installed components Emilia Becker's learning edition um, I will close this and now I will try to um, yeah, find where it is installed Dassault systems Similia abacus and this uh, this is the folder in my uh, start directory and by clicking this it should basically execute and it says abacus error press any key to continue 